Hey everybody, it's Derek with the Board Game Spotlight, and today we're gonna take a look at Crab Dash, a game by Kahio Games. It's on Kickstarter right now. It's for three to six players, plays in about 20 to 45 minutes, and it's for ages eight and up. So I'm gonna give you a quick overview of how the game works. So in Crab Dash, players are competing to move their hermit crabs and cross the finish line. They're also placing betting cubes, each player has 10. They're placing betting cubes on the individual lanes on the outside, and they're betting on which crabs they think will finish in first, second, or third place. So at the beginning of each turn, you will roll these dice, and then they will determine which crabs move in how many spaces. So here we have the red and the yellow, and I get to choose both of those and they move two spaces. So we would move the yellow one two spaces and the red one two spaces. Now the spaces on the board are important because here in the first line, the first three lines, it costs one to place a betting cube on a crab in that lane, two in the middle three, and then three on the last three. Also, crabs cannot occupy the same space. So if a crab was to land on a space as another crab, they would have to hop them. So in here you can have two, and here they hop, and then in three, you can have three in each space. So on your turn, after you've rolled your dice, you have a number of actions you can take. And you can take any of these uh, twice. So you can do the same action twice, or two actions, two different ones. So you can bet on a crab. So that would be, you take your pearls, and let's say I want to bet on the yellow because I think that he's going to finish. Oops, yellow's over here. So I think he's going to finish first. So I will pay three pearls to place one of my cubes on his betting board. And I've gone ahead and sped up the game. Uh, there would be the crabs all start in the center, and then you'll have a lot more cubes on each of these boards. But I just want to give you a quick overview, show you how the game works, and uh, and go from there. So that would be one thing you could do. You can also bet on a lane. And betting on a lane always costs one pearl. So I'll pay five. I'll get four back. And then I'm gonna bet that one of these two finishes here. And so what that's gonna do is if a crab finishes in that space, I get two times pearls for each cube there. And that is important for the end of the game. Another thing you can do is to play a card. And each player starts with three. You can gain cards throughout the game by rolling this die symbol. And so you have a few things you can do here. This is a double bet. It allows you to pay for and place two betting cubes. So that's nice. You could do sleight of hand, which is to move a betting cube from another crab. Uh, that can be very handy if you've bet on something that has lagged behind in the race. And then there are other ones you can play. And then you can discard a card for uh, pearls. So the top right value will give you that many pearls. It goes to the discard, and then you gain that many pearls. Pearls are important because they are the victory conditions, the in-game victory conditions, and you need to pay for placing your betting cubes on each of the crabs and on the board. So they're actually very important. When it's all, it's all said and done, when three crabs have crossed the finish line, so You'll go around, once you've finished your turn, you'll pass your dice to the player on the left. They'll take their turn. There are cards that you can play at any time. You can play on your opponent's turns to kind of get that player interaction, kind of a little bit of chaos with the race. And so when a crab finishes, so let's say we were able to progress the yellow over here and he finished. So then we take the first, the first uh, place token and place it next there. And then let's say that the kitty was actually able to, to cross. So then they get the second place trophy and then Rainbow Red was able to gain third. So the way this works is that the cubes that were on each of those and only the crabs that ended will score. So if you have any cubes over here, then they are out of luck. And that is part of the game. And so the way the prize payout works is first place gets nine times the number of cubes that were placed there. So here on yellow, it would be nine times, let's say three for white. So white was able to score 27 points to blues nine and yellows 
nine, and that's paid out in pearls. Again, those are the victory points. Over here with the rainbow red, you have blue, yellow, white. Again, that would pay out second is seven, and then third is five. And so you want to be able to strategically place your cubes as best as possible, but also understanding that it is a game of luck and chance. And the person that best moves the crabs will end up the winner. Also, don't forget that you'll score based on the lanes. So placing lane cubes can be very profitable for players. And don't overlook those. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how you play Crab Dash. This has been Derek Funkhauser with the Board Game Spotlight, and this has been your overview of Crab Dash. <laughs>